Hello friends, I am going to show you how to remove the 40 minutes restriction from your free zoom account. Now you may doing online meetings or online classes with your free zoom account but if there are more than three participants you know that you after 40 minutes you have to restart the meeting or the lesson. So to avoid that and to continuously do your lessons for three hours, two hours without taking a license version, this is how you can do it with your free Zoom account. First, log in to your Zoom account. Here I am showing this with my computerized Zoom app, computer based Zoom app. I have done another video for phone based apps but most of the time the difference is the interference the interface other than that the method is the same okay so here you have to go to schedule and then you have to schedule the classes or meetings but you have to remember the topic should be the same you have to keep in mind what you have put for your topic and think I am doing uh, a class on June 8th and uh, think I am going to do it from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. so here if I am using the free version then I have to restart it three times so other than that doing it here I am going to schedule it for 30 minutes. I am going to schedule it 30 minutes. The first schedule I am going to put it as 30 minutes. Then another important thing you have to remember is the meeting ID. You have to select the generate automatically. Don't select the personal meeting ID. Once you have selected generate automatically then thereafter you can do uh, selections for the other things uh, then uh, you can go to save so once you have scheduled it you can see the scheduled meeting details and you can send this meeting invitation to your participants this is your first scheduled meeting for that particular class or meeting so send this invitation only to your participants so you can copy this to clipboard and you can send it uh, via whatsapp or emo or else you can use uh, email and you can send it to your participants. So once you have done it, close it, you can go to meetings and you can see this is the first meeting I have scheduled. Then I am going back again to the home and then I am going to schedule another meeting now here you have to remember the topic what we have given to the first meeting then here I have to select the date and the time now I have selected the time as 8 and I have given time duration as 30 minutes so you have to give the time here 8 30 8 30 and again I am going to select here 30 minutes and then again the same rule you have to select the meeting ID generate automatically then you can select the other options and you can press save here the second meeting has been scheduled but you are not sending this invitation you have to send only the first invitation okay now here again i'm going to meetings and you can see first one is from 8 to 8 30 and the second one is from 8 30 to 9 then i told that i'm going to do it for two hours from 8 to 10 so i have to schedule another two more meetings with the same topic i have to select the date and the time be careful with the time and when you are doing this you have to schedule all the meetings prior to your meeting now 
if I am going to do it 8 a.m. then before 8 a.m. before I am starting the class I have to schedule all the meetings now I told I am going to do it from 8 to 10 so which means 30 minutes 4 meetings I have to schedule so even though I have sent I can create the first meeting and I can send the meeting invitation to my participants and then at the same time you have to schedule the other three meetings and this should be before your meetings okay before you start the first meeting now here I am scheduling the third meeting 30 minutes here the, again the duration and I have to remember again the meeting ID should be generated automatically normally by default it will select this generate automatically so i'll keep it as it is and then if you need to change any options here there's advanced options also you can do that and you can save this so this is the third meeting you can see i'm going here 8 to 8 30 8 30 to 9 9 to 9 30 i have to schedule another meeting here so once I go to this place again the same topic the date I have to select and the time should be 9.30 to 10. 10 I don't have to put 10 it will automatically take I have to say 30 minutes and then the meeting ID generate automatically and the other things you can select the options. Now if you want to know about these uh, um, other uh, options and all you can go to my um, another video is there how to uh, schedule a meeting with uh, more uh, information about these options so you can follow that um, and another thing is um, I have to tell you that uh, once you have done this uh, there are uh, like if you want to uh, on uh, the participants videos uh, you can do it from here you can um, let the participants come with their video here so you can do it like that way even now there are some more, more options if you interested on how to change these options you can uh, go to I have put it on the top uh, here uh, with this uh, card section uh, with the I you can see you can go to that video and you can give it how you have to do that so here I am going to save this fourth meeting. So I have scheduled my meeting or the class. So I can go to meetings here you can see there are four meetings are scheduled. First one is 8 to 8.30, second one is 8.30 to 9, 9 to 9.30 and 9 to 10. So all these four is there before I am doing my, I am starting my first meeting so once you have done this then you can go to this first meeting and then you can copy invitation and you can send it to your participants only this first invitation first meeting invitation you have to send so once you have logged into it and uh, once you the once your participant has logged into it when you are doing the lesson it will give a message that uh, your session has been updated uh, like that then there will be ok button and you can let your participant know that they have to ok that button so this is how you have to do this it's easy and hope you will get the advantage of this and if you have any question regarding this you can put it in the comment section here you can ask any question or and if you need to know more about uh, zoom uh, features you can comment it in the comment section so have a good day